Hello there! I am Teacher Joyce Alba. Welcome to my virtual science classroom. Do you know how to prepare a coffee? What are the ingredients used to prepare a coffee? Correct! The ingredients are coffee powder, sugar, and hot water. What is formed when two or more substances like coffee, sugar, and water? Correct! When you mix coffee powder, sugar, and water, you form a mixture. A mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically combined. The substances are put together but no new substance is formed. Coffee is a mixture because it is a combination of coffee powder, sugar, and hot water. When you mix different kinds of vegetables in making vegetable salad, it is also a mixture. Because it is a combination of different kinds of vegetables. Another example is when you combine pebbles and water. It is also a mixture. Because it is a mixture of pebbles and water. Mixture can come in any form. It may be solid, liquid, or in gaseous form. Fruit salad, 3-in-1 coffee powder, chicken breading, and mixed gravel are examples of solid mixtures. Fruit juices, hot coffee, hot milk, and hot chocolate drink are examples of liquid mixtures. Air is a gaseous mixture. Mixtures can be homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Now, let's talk about homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture refers to a substance that is consistent or uniform throughout its volume. It just consists of a single phase be it liquid, gas, or solid. It is commonly called a solution because the materials in the mixture cannot be recognized from one another. They are evenly distributed and you were not able to identify the different components that were mixed. Corn oil, vinegar, and sugar solutions are homogeneous mixtures. An alloy, for example, is also an example of homogeneous mixture because it is a mixture of different melted metals. Air is also an example of homogeneous mixture because it is a combination of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other particles. Other examples of homogeneous mixtures are Sea water, pure chocolate, brass metal. Now, let's talk about heterogeneous mixtures. Heterogeneous mixture is a mixture having a non-uniform composition. The composition varies from one region to another, with at least two phases that remain separate from each other with clearly identifiable properties. If you examine a sample of heterogeneous mixture, you can recognize the separate components, which means the substances are all visible. For example, a freshly squeezed orange juice or the London juice is a heterogeneous mixture of juice and pulp. The pulp components floats in a juice component. Now, take a look at the other examples of heterogeneous mixtures. Cement 
mixture is a heterogeneous mixture of an aggregate cement and water. Pebbles and sun form a heterogeneous mixture. If you look closely, you can identify pebbles and particles of sun. Ice cubes in cola form a heterogeneous mixture. The ice and the soda are two distinct phases of matter, solid and liquid. Salt and pepper form a heterogeneous mixture. Chocolate chips cookies are heterogeneous mixture. If you take a bite from a cookie, you may not get the same number of chips as you get in another bite. And soda is considered a heterogeneous mixture. It contains water, sugar, and carbon dioxide, which form bubbles, while the sugar, water, and flavorings may form a chemical solution. The carbon dioxide bubbles are not uniformly distributed throughout the liquid. These are the differences of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures have uniform composition, while in heterogeneous mixtures, they have non-uniform composition. Homogeneous mixtures, they blend throughout, while in heterogeneous mixtures, they do not blend throughout. Homogeneous mixtures, they have no visible boundary of separation, while in heterogeneous, they have visible boundary of separation. Homogeneous mixtures consist of single or one phase, while in heterogeneous mixtures, they consist of two or more phases. Homogeneous mixtures are evenly mixed, while heterogeneous mixtures are not evenly mixed. In homogeneous mixtures, they are commonly called solution, while in heterogeneous mixtures, they are either suspension or colloid. Let's see if you learned something new. Answer this. Identify the following mixtures. Say homogeneous if it has uniform composition or heterogeneous mixture if it has no uniform composition. Fruit salad. Very good. Halo, halo. Excellent. Three in one coffee in hot water. Brilliant. Vinegar. Sea water. Great job. Soft drinks. Perfect. Pure chocolate. Pizza Nice one Alcohol Excellent And air Job. Hope you learned something!
see you next time for another science virtual class. Keep safe. God bless. Bye.